Hi, I'm Yamach. And I'm Sue. And together we are the RV Exec Chef. 35 years executive chef experience. 35 years everything but the executive chef experience. And we have thousands and thousands of recipes coming your way for your RV lifestyle. In today's episode, we are going to show you how to make roast potatoes just in time for Christmas, the perfect roast potatoes. We're going to show you how to make those in the Ninja Foodie. And also, I will show you how to make potatoes, perfect potatoes on the next grill top. You will see. Just in time for Christmas. So, first tip of the day, which we're doing cheap, we're going rock bottom cheap, is this. And this is going to be used to cook the grilled potatoes on the next grill. Now this, Yamach will explain to you exactly what this is. It's not what you think it is. <laughs> <laughs> I bought this uh, round uh, baking pan from a second-hand store. Good, I, was it Goodwill? Goodwill. Go Goodwill, yeah. Do you know how much? 90 cent. Wow. And if you want to buy this thing, from any kind of restaurant supply shop, you will pay at least ten dollar. The cost for me only one dollar. Only ten percent. Ah, but it didn't come with a handle. You yes. made the handle. Yes, I hope I drill a hole in the middle. Then I found a small branch, branch old branch in the forest. In the forest, then I drilled it inside. Voila. Bye Voila. bye. You've got a handle. I think handle. you put it the other way. This is energy Show saver. The yeah, this is the handle. This is energy saver. You can save lots of money from propane covering your foods on the grill. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Freebie. Virtually free. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst Jamach is uh, mingling around getting his food ready for cooking, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Ninja Foodie. This is a great piece of equipment for anybody with an RV. It's sturdy, and to give you an idea just how sturdy it is, when we're traveling in the RV, we do leave this on the kitchen top, and it doesn't move, it doesn't go anywhere. Um, it's, it's heavy, that's probably the reason why, and it's got suction on the bottom of it, so it sticks to the kitchen worktop, which is great. But anyway, you judge that for yourselves in your own RV if you do have one. You can do multiple things with it as well. So I'll just run through them with you. I'm trying to remember it off the top of my head. So it's pressure cook, steam, slow cooks, sears and sautés, air crisp, bakes and roasts, and it broils, and it keeps the food warm also at a really good temperature. Also, it has two lids. The Ninja Foodie comes with two lids. This is the main lid when you are steaming, pressure cooking, and sear and saute. This is the lid. But this lid, when you're doing those three things, you can't take the lid off. You leave it to cook. So you seal it, and then when it's done, it's finished, the timer, you vent it, steam comes out, and you take the lid off. Otherwise, this lid is locked. Now the beauty of this lid, this lid is permanently on the Ninja. It just sits like this. And this lid, when you're using it, you put it on top like, like so. Now the beauty of this lid is when you bake and roast, or broil, or air crisp, when you set the timer, you can check how the food is cooking inside. So it's no problem, as it's cooking, you can open the lid, check the food, give it a stir, and close it back down. That's the beauty of the Ninja Foodie. But like I say, with this lid, once it's on, you can't move it unless you finish the cooking, take the steam out, let it release, 
and then twist it and it comes up. So we recommend the Ninja Foodie for anyone in an RV and you'll see how good it is when we do these potatoes and there's multiple things you can do in there. We do stews, don't we? Yeah. We do soups. We use this almost every other day. Yeah, it's a we crisp chicken. Uh, crisp chicken, yeah, yeah. Our daughter came from school hungry, you know. Yeah, she wants a quick meal. It's yeah. just throwing in there, you know, and it's done very yeah. quick. It's fast. How I practiced with this when we first got it, because you do think, you you know, it's a bit mind-blowing, all these instructions, what do you do, which lid do you use? What I did is, um, <laughs> we've got two dogs with us, our fur babies. And we give them human food as well as their their hard food. So we give them bits of meat, chicken, rice, vegetables. So we practiced like that. So we put the veg in, practice how long does that take? The rice, how long does that take? The meat, and we practiced it, you cooking for the dogs. So there's a top tip there. If you're not sure and you don't want to ruin any good food in there because you're practicing and you do have fur babies, practice cooking them some food in there just a little bit to see how long it takes first thing you need to cut your potatoes inch inch and a half cubes cubes shape <laughs> I always drop something <laughs> like that uh, I cut five potatoes here uh, we will use those potatoes in ninja also I will put all potatoes inside with the cubed potatoes we will steam in there for minutes <laughs> you might notice the noise in the background guys it is quite windy here compared to the other day when we were out on the beach it is absolutely freezing now but we decided to cook outside but um sorry about the noise in the background we decided to cover this area whilst we were cooking um, it is it's still sunny but it's freezing now time to cook time to cook take the potatoes put inside the bowl you're losing them yeah for <laughs> carrying okay so uh, you put them in the ninja yes there we go also the ninja comes with this pot as well so take this out if it's in there and then you put it in the main pot this one yeah. and also for more potatoes all potatoes i'm placing inside pile them all up and then yeah. where's the water water you have one cup water here one cup water now if you put less potatoes in obviously you put less water in but for this amount of potatoes we're putting one cup in just dump it all in there and then you take this lid which has the vent the steam vent on top you put it to seal because you're going to seal it twist it on there yeah turn it on and we're going to steam for four minutes press the steam button and it automatically sets itself to 10 minutes so we reduce that four minutes hit the start button and you'll hear the beep and it takes a little while to build up that heat inside and then once it does it'll count down and then it'll let you know when it's ready it'll beep yeah potatoes perfectly blanched okay so the four minutes are finished in the ninja potatoes have been blanched so the next step take the pot out drain the water out and be careful i mean yamach can lift my hand is he can lift anything, anything up that's really hot but use oven mitts or yeah. you know tea Definitely. towel or something to grab the sides i couldn't lift that out right now it's too hot he can lift anything out yeah yeah so the water's drained drained you put those two in yeah yeah now another mm -hmm. top tip to get the edges of the potatoes nice and fluffy and nice and crunchy on the outside on your roast potatoes and um, you shake you rattle them around in the pot bash them around yeah so you lift it up and you just shake them give them a good shake not too much and that's yeah. enough yeah so you can lift that up a little bit so yeah. you'll see the outsides of the potatoes are a little bit fluffy and they get nice and crispy the next step once you've given them a little bit of a shake you put a little bit of olive oil in there not too much just a drizzle and that's enough then we spread them out a little bit where's our uh, I will shake oh, a little bit shake it yeah 
like this. Yeah, so they're coated, they're coated nicely in the olive oil. Then we're ready to roast. Roast. So we pop the lid down. And we will roast 30 minutes. Make sure every 10 minutes uh, open and check. Yeah, that's the beauty of that lid. Yeah, and last 10 minutes you will put the herbs inside. Yeah, so we set this for 10 minutes, so you just pop that lid down, set it to bacon roast. Now the temperature is automatically set at 375 and we leave it at that temperature. And then we set that for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, start. And there you go. And you should hear a bit of a noise. Yeah, yeah we can hear the noise. Start. <laughs> you can hear it louder inside the RV. Yeah, start. So you will hear it. It's buzzing away there. And just leave the lid shut. But like Yamach says, every 10 minutes, give it a check and maybe and stir it around a little bit. Mix, mix the potatoes in. First, cut the potatoes in half. Then half an inch bum bum and same way continuing take the potatoes and put on the grill very nicely make sure you separate the potatoes very well take the olive oil just drizzle Love it on the top. The, those are my biggest helper, you know, on the grill. Just make sure it doesn't stick. All right, already chiseling. Make sure to toast your potatoes with oil, olive oil very well, and cooks much easier. Now I am taking the lid. I made it earlier. This is my biggest helper <laughs> and cooks so easily. Look, this is water. I am putting a little bit to make steam inside. Will cook double time faster. The temperature is on the moderate level is 350 degrees. And you can see too. Let it cook at least 10 minutes here. 14 minutes left. I'm checking the potatoes in Ninja. Oh, start to get brown. Another five minutes, we will start to put the herbs inside. Now, time to put the herbs and the garlic in Ninja. Take garlic, one handful, and a little bit parsley. And I like rosemary, I don't know if you like it, but if you like rosemary, put quite a bit and a little bit thyme. Thyme goes very well with garlic and rosemary. Oh, smells really good. Delicious, delicious. And put a little bit of olive oil too. We want crispy, that reason we are putting a little bit more olive oil. Continue cooking another nine minutes. Now I'm back over the grill. Time to put the green pepper and onion. You can see the potatoes getting golden brown, what we want. And look how soft it is. Okay and take your olive oil and love it. Olive oil on top of the vegetables. Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. And I told earlier, ninja part, I love rosemary. Put rosemary on top. Love it, oregano. Parsley, a little bit, and chopped garlic. Have black pepper and 
a little bit salt and mix it nicely and potatoes need a little bit more olive oil more olive oil is really gets more delicious you can beat the olive oil paste and same way the vegetables you don't want to burn it just nicely cook maybe four minutes on the grill now I'm back over the ninja I will put a little bit salt and black pepper and toss it very gently you, you don't want to break up the potatoes I am adding a little bit paprika because it gives extra taste inside and color gets a more golden dark golden brown how I want you can add other things to it as well yeah you can add uh, if you like bacon sausage cheddar cheese tomatoes feta cheese feta cheese is really good inside try next time I am checking the uh, one last time oh the potato is almost there another minute or two potatoes will be ready now I'm go going back to grill I will add a little bit water I want a little bit more steam there and cover with the lid and your potatoes is almost ready so we did promise um, a couple of videos ago that we were going to mention some people on our videos and we're going to mention two or three today so the first one we're going to mention is Endless RVing now this, this channel it's a great channel so you, you really do need to check it out and once again we've never met them we don't know these guys but they do have great videos and they're very professional how they present things to yeah, you. It is really great. It's, really, it's yeah, good. I, I you know. really enjoy it. Again, you're drawn into the videos and they're spot on with everything they say. And the latest two videos, one of them was about towing vehicles behind your RV. So if you do have a vehicle and you're new to RVing and you're trying to figure out how to tow a vehicle behind your RV, check the latest video out. It's yeah. really good. Another video they put out is um, they're doing now what you call um, Tuesday Tips. And every Tuesday they put it pushing out some great tips and the latest one is about taking care of your tires on your RV so the really good tips in there check those guys yeah, out. I learn a lot yeah you yeah. did didn't you yeah. in fact I watched the video and I said I'm gonna <laughs> get my husband to watch yeah. this right now I commented on their video um, another place we're gonna mention um, they're not they're not an RV family we don't know them again it's an RV spot and they are called Calhaven Outpost. Let me get that right. Calhaven Outpost. Um, they have RV sites. They have full hookups, 30 amp and 50 amp. And it looks really nice. And they're based in Michigan. So if anybody's passion, passing by Michigan or you're on your travels, check these out, guys out. They've got a website and they have started a YouTube channel. I think there's just two videos on there right now. But check them out. It looks really good. And um, we might pay them a visit one day. In summertime summertime yeah. Yeah. yeah but if you're passing by michigan check them out another person one person i would like to mention is somebody we do know and her name is michaela she's based in england and she's a young young lady she's just come out of university she's got a job and i did say i was going to mention her we've known her for many years she's just a sweet girl and she's doing a lot of instagram posts on the keto diet now I personally don't know a lot about the keto diet, but if, if you're interested in that kind of thing, check her out, you know, if you can go on her Instagram, she's going to start doing YouTube um, videos um, in a little while, and so because I think all these young ones, they need a lot of support, they need as much support as they can get, so her name's Michaela, and her channel's called Comfortable Kayla. So if you look her up on Instagram, give her a like, you know, thumbs up and follow her page, and every little bit helps. Another, another RV site I'd like to mention, just before this is finished, um, they are called, they are called Camp and Harmony. Have I got that one right? Yeah, Camp and Harmony. Now they have some 
beautiful videos on there of places they have visited and they're just so nice and one video that I personally fell in love with was they went on a ranch a horseback ranch in the Rocky Mountains and it's just beautiful I couldn't stop watching it and it was like wow because I'd love to do that kind of thing and I said Tia much look at this and there's nothing better than looking at people's videos that have actually done it and it's not media driven you know it doesn't come off the TV so if you want a real good view of good places to visit check that check that channel out because they've got really good videos on there yeah looking pretty good but it really helps with the ninja with the olive oil and all the fresh herbs in there as well that makes yeah. such a difference otherwise I think they would come out looking a bit a bit plain a bit boring boring yeah look at this so and put a little bit more parsley on top mm. voila it is ready to go and these and ones and I'm looking forward to tasting those yeah this is the Your guinea pig here yeah let's put here now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but as these videos go on and on and on, we have noticed we're putting on more weight. And the reason why we're putting on more weight is because <laughs> he's cooking too much. I think he still thinks he's catering, and it's just the three of us in the bus. But look at all these potatoes we've got now, and now we have to eat them all. But the worst so part... we are putting the weight on. Worst part, no leftover. We eat. There is <laughs> <laughs> he just can't stop eating and munching all night long. I mean, look at that. That's enough for how many people? Oh, uh, eight people. That's enough for eight people. There's only three of us. And that's yeah. two adults. So, so time, time to, to decide. Taste. Time to taste. They look really hot. Yeah. Yummy. I like that one. Could be hot. Be careful. Mmm. Wow. They're good. So home fresh potatoes. Mm, a little good. bit Mediterranean touch inside. Mm. And the extra taste they get with the pepper and stuff. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now <laughs> you dropped it. I'm throwing the food away, yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh no. Mm. You know what they would be nice with? Mm. Sorry. They would be absolutely delicious with bacon. A bacon, mm. also grilled chicken, uh, oh. steak, filet mignon. Oh, but this potato great. is yeah. perfect. A great side dish for Christmas. And earlier I forgot to say, actually you can crack a couple of eggs on top, love it scramble. Oh, in the, yeah. especially in breakfast, so good. Well, I guess if we have any of these left in the morning, we'll put some eggs on them. Yeah. I don't think mm. there's going to be any left. No, I don't think. If there is, we'll be. do that. You are the potato monster, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> right, what am I having here? The ninja. Ninja one. Mm. Mm. So hot. Mm. 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 Now, what's my favorite? Yeah, roast. Mm, how'd you guess? Yeah, I know. You I always have to say. She's a British, that reason, you know. I know, but the ninja roast potatoes top it for me. I like them. What about you? You got another pop? I use that one. No, no. I'd like them with bacon. And I can match that bacon, Brussels sprouts. And Change the places. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite one. Okay, <laughs> so they're yours tonight. These yeah. are mine. Enjoy. Don't ask me tomorrow, okay? No. Can you give me your potatoes? But are you gonna make put it with egg on and everything? Oh, this is the top secret <laughs> recipe. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know what you think, and please subscribe to us. And if you do subscribe, hit the bell and the bell will alert you when new videos do come out. We're trying to push out two a week, so we've got thousands of recipes to push out for you. Um, 
so yeah thank you for watching and thank you to all the subscribers that are supporting us we really really do appreciate that thank you and have, have a, a nice, nice day, day. <laughs> enjoy your <video>. oops <laughs> <laughs>